What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Oh, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, leads, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Free general collective reading, caps of Sag, everybody in between. Don't be the basic, cops fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general oracle card reading for June of 2022. Um, it's very important to only take the messages and leave the rest. My dear, it's a free general collective reading. One may resonate. Two may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only oh, you know your particular situation and story. Not anybody else, you guys. Okay. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,015 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. Just for real, for real, I'm just saying. Love y'all. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to uh, share my channel very publicly and word of mouth via social media and word of mouth if you feel guided to do so. If not, no hard feelings. Just saying, just saying. So I received a couple ch couple channeling in as I was meditating on your June of 2022's energy. So it's time to leave. And like I said, this could resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Um, I would suggest checking out your sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well. If you uh, Maybe you could find a couple messages um, in there that apply to you as well, possibly. Um, if you feel guided to do so. Also, cross watchers are welcome. But I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your June of 2022 energy. And the first one, I heard a trust fund um, set up. A trust fund set up. And the second one, um, hold on. Shit, I forgot the second one. Give me a second. I'm sorry. A trust fund set up. I had it and I forgot it, you guys. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Let me get the pee leaves. I, I lost it. I lost it. But if I remember it, I'll let you know, okay? But the first, um, the a trust fund setup was definitely one. So we'll go over that one. If I remember the other one, I'll let you know. So energies can be reversed. So a trust fund setup. So I feel this is either you setting up a trust fund for a person, people, place, family, situation, organization, etc., etc., or someone setting it up for you. Um, that's how I feel it can go, but you put some kind of trust fund set up, whether you're doing this or somebody you're connected to is, or somebody's doing it for you, or you're doing it for someone else, how that resonates, okay? And damn it, I forgot the other one. It's got me like, whoa. Um, let me see if I remember. Spare message this year, I have Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. A whole new perspective soon is what I heard. A whole new perspective soon. Yep. So a whole new perspective soon. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So that could be energies can be reversed. So it could be you having a whole new perspective soon on person, people, place, family, or situation. Or someone having a whole new perspective on you regarding person, people, place, family, or situation. Some kind of whole new perspective energy. In some facet and area either of your life or somebody having a whole new perspective on you or your life or something like that okay i'm glad i remembered it i thought i'd lost it i'm just saying spare messages you have for son leaves i'm glad i remembered it by the way these are psychic intuitive messages so it's very 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 important only take the messages that resonate leave the rest psychic intuitive messages one may apply two may apply Two plus may apply. Only you know your personal situation and story, so you have to plug it in in your own life how it resonates if it does resonate. Spirit messages you have, son, Lisa. So we have Nightingale and Swan energy, um, double air sign energy, which is your energy. Um, air sign Libra. Um, so double air sign energy. For some, I feel you're dealing with a lot of air signs, or you're about to be. Younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. 
Target, a goal-oriented person. Horseshoe, good luck. Bees, patience. Number 16 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 16, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life in some shape, form, or fashion, Libra. You plug it in how it resonates. Nightingale. A significant illegal case study of the past is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Know this. For some, you're about to help expose it. For some, you were involved in it in a negative way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, Lord. I've been pulling that in that illegal case study energy of a family very heavy um, this past few days. And honestly, that's, um, it. according to the reading, they didn't even get the head of household's permission to do so. It was the, the it was forged. The signature was forged. That's some chessy shit. Imagine if it was done to them. They wouldn't appreciate that. And that's just damn. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm thirsty. But I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? I mean, nay, nay, said the little red hen. That's invading people's rights, liberties, and freedoms. Hell to the hills, his note. But some kind of illegal case study energy of the past. For some, you're on the good side of this. You're about to help expose it. So that's beautiful with the Nightingale energy. For some, you're on the negative inner, um, side of it, and you help, I think, cover it up, or you made money off of it, or you forged the signature or signatures. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you resonate. Are you on the positive side about to expose this with the Nightingale energy? Or are you on the negative side of it that tried to cover it up or profit off people or use people, et cetera, et cetera? Or are you connected to one of these situ uh, people in these situations? Um, I feel it's two different, at least two different Libras involved in this situation that know about it. One, you're about to expose it. One, you've tried to cover it up or you did cover it up. And you profited off of it, or you forged signature or signatures. How would that resonate? Or you know somebody that did. How would that resonate? Okay. But it's about to come out. It sounds like whether these person or people wanted to come out or not with the nightingale energy. Nightingales, they're very loud and proud. You see, the nightingale's beak is open. It's open. They are they don't care. They're gonna do it, whether people want them to or not. Freedom of speech energy, basically. That's what this reminds me of. Freedom of speech energy. Got their beak open. They're going to do it anyways. Whether people want them to speak on it or not. Because it's the truth. Um, and I feel whoever you are um, that's trying to cover this shit up, it's, I feel it's going to go badly. And I'm just being real. Because there's people out there in the universe that know about this. And they're about to expose it. About to expose it in a huge way. About to expose it in a huge way. Yeah. I, power of the people, man. And I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm feeling with the nightingale, the speak energy. Now, however they're about to expose it, I don't know. Who they're going to expose it to, I don't know. But it is about to come out. People shouldn't be trying to forge people's signatures and put in illegal voyeur cameras in people's homes to do illegal case studies on them. You have to have consent to do any kind of case study on anybody, period, point blank. We're in 2022. This is not slavery times. If anybody needs to hear that. So Nightingale is the exposure of this illegal case study of the past. Swan. A Libra has really, really, really blossomed into a beautiful being. Really doing a lot of self-care. Natural self-care. 35 and below. That's beautiful, younger leads. Whoever you are and how that applies. You're 35 or below, younger Libra in energy. You can have Libra in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Mask or femme. Uh, but you you do natural self-care products. Whoever you are, younger leads, mask or femme. Um, and apparently it's really showing on your skin there, buddy or dude or dudette or whoever you are. Um, I think you're Hashtag glowing up. I didn't hear you were, but y'all are. Y'all hashtag glowing up. Just for real, for real. Um, you've turned into the swine. Now, 
And if anybody's seen Leo's reading, I had this one in there too. And I just want to say, and I didn't hear this in here either, and I didn't hear it in Leo's, but I'm going to say it again. Maybe for some, you might have been the ugly duckling as a child. You might have been bullied, harassed, or even as a, a kid. I'm, I'm sorry, not a kid, a young adult. You're 35 or below, so you're still pretty young. -y. You're still young. -y. I'm 38. I'm the older woman in here, and that's just the damn truth. If I was to pull up an energetic space, I'm the older woman. That's okay. I embrace that shit. But my point is, I think you've hashtag glowed up. Um, and for some of you, you could have been ugly duckling S type energy in the past. As a kid, you were bullied or harassed or berated, or maybe even as a younger, young adult. But you have risen from the ashes like a phoenix energy, and you let it just roll off your shoulders, baby. Just saying. I mean, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words just uh, aren't going to hurt me, bitch. And that's just the damn truth. You know? I mean, so there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel hashtag blow up energy here. Maybe for some, you might have been an ugly duckling in the past and you have blossomed into a swan is what I'm feeling for some. I didn't hear that, but I do sure do feel that. And I'm just being serious. So if you're 35 or below, that resonates for you, swan energy, masculine or feminine, Libra energy, okay? And for some, I feel, and I didn't hear this either, but for some, you might be whistleblowers or activists or... Um, or something of that nature, a whistleblower or an activist or a, um, or something of that nature, or an advocate, or an advocate, maybe you're an activist or an advocate or a whistleblower with the swan and the nightingale energy. I didn't hear you are, but you might be for some. I'm pulling in heavy 35 or below Libra and energy, I'll tell you that, but positive. Younger woman, Dylan's a relationship with a younger woman. A younger feminine energy is about to become very significant in your life for some in a very positive way, some in a negative way, some it's your child. Teenage child, for some, it is your, a family member. For some, it's about to be a random stranger you meet out in public. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Um, so, younger femme energy. Now, I'm 38, so if it was me and I was on the other end, I'm just using myself as an example because I can't use anybody else. But I was on the other end of this, and I, that was my spiritual download, and I knew it was, and I took it. This person would have to be 37 or below, because I'm 38. So whatever age you are, younger than you is what I'm trying to say, okay? You have to plug in where it resonates. For some of you guys, it's a family member. For some, it is, um, oh shit, I forgot. Some it's a family member. Some it is, oh, your daughter, teenage daughter. For some, it is a random person you're about to meet out in public. Um, they're about to become a very positive influence in your life or a very negative one, but they're definitely younger than you. For some, they're your teenage daughter. For some, a younger femme energy in your family. For some, a random stranger you're about to meet out in public. That's future energy, but definitely younger than you. A riot. It's about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Okay, I heard a riot is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. For some, it's on rights and liberties and the pursuit of happiness. For some, it's on rights and liberties and the pursuits of, pursuit of happiness. For some, it's on gender equality. For some, it's on gender equality. So you plug it in. How it resonates some kind of riot energy. I feel public riot energy. Um, angry public riot energy. And that could be the nightingale energy too. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get out of hand where the police have to get involved. Like, 
or the guard or something like that. Um, I feel it's a very large public gathering about to gather. So on public, um, on rights, liberties, and pursuit of happiness. So, you know, basic human rights, liberties, and freedoms, basically. Um, and for some, it's on gender equality. I don't know if you're physically going to be at this riot, riot, Libra, or maybe you're a pol police about to um, police the event, or you are, so, like, maybe it, the riot gathers outside your apartment building or condo or duplex or home or you see it on the news or what have you i'm not sure how you're connected to this only you know how you're connected to it uh, but i feel for some a younger feminine energy is involved with this or it's over a younger feminine energy in some shape form or fashion um possibly um uh, regarding gender equality and rights liberties and freedoms and pursuits i have it pursuit of happiness i heard it's going to shock the hell out of you this riot um so whoever you are and however this applies in one libra's life it is about to mortify the hell out of one libra and it's about to become a huge thing and it should it is about to mortify the hell out of a libra uh, and it's about to come become a huge thing and it should so um the gender equality riot or the pursuit of rights, liberties, and freedoms and pursuit of happiness riot. And for some, it might, both of those things might be in the riot. Um, I heard it, it's about to become a huge thing. So the riot sounds like it's going to become large. And I heard it should happen. It should happen. So somebody's rights, liberties, freedoms, and pursuits of happiness has been crushed or is being crushed and something to do with gender equality in some shape, form, or fashion, involving a younger feminine energy. Um, I think younger than you, Libra, the one that's about to be mortified is what I'm feeling. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else there, whoever you are. For, um, I heard it's about to become a big thing. It is about to grow, 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 very, 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 very fast. About to get organized very fast, and it's about to happen very fast. Holy shit, that was some huge downloads. So you plug it in. It's about to happen. It's about to fast. It's about to come fast. Cycles changing fast. Organized fast. People gathering fast. Large crowd. About to riot fast. I mean, organized fast. Activism fast. Fast, fast, fast. Five, five, five with eight of wands energy. Fast. But I heard it needs to happen. And honestly, gender equality and pursuits and rights of liberties, freedoms, and the pursuit of happiness, that should happen. If anybody, um, hell, if one of you guys is organizing this damn riot, contact me. I want to go. I'm free to do so. Just saying, just saying. I've been wrongfully terminated in the universe four damn times. I've got free time to go. Just saying. So if one of you guys is about to go this damn riot, um, please message me. I'll be the peacemaker up in there. I don't want to have a violent riot. I want to be the peacemaker. Just saying. But my point is, I will go. I will stand up for rights, liberties, and the freedom of happiness. I will go for gender equality all fucking day long. But I ain't going to be violent. That's the damn truth. And I, I wouldn't, I'm disclaiming, I don't promote violence on my channel. Just saying. But seriously, in all seriousness, if somebody is about to go to this I heard a riot, but if you're going to this, please make it peaceful, peaceful organization, because the government's not going to listen to you if you're going in there, bombs a blazing, nooks a bucking, acting like damn fools. Just to let y'all know, okay? If you're going in there, nucking a bucking and fighting the police and acting all fucking cray cray, they're not going to listen to you. You need to organize in a peaceful, professional peaceful man are there because they're not going to listen to you if you don't you have the right to organize in a peaceful manner but you don't have the right to go out there on the streets knucking and bucking like some damn idiots and i'm not calling anybody idiots but that would be idiot like behavior if you go out there and start doing that shit and i'm just being for real but if somebody wants to organize in a very peaceful manner please contact me i will travel and i will go with you okay so like i say about that but that riot, it hasn't happened yet. Hopefully the riot turns into a peaceful protest. 
I'm hoping it turns into a peaceful protest. Several shocking series of shame events will occur with these situations very soon. Transmuting of energy. Several shocking series of chain events will occur with this situation soon. Transmuting of energy. Well, I hope the transmuting of energy is a peaceful protest instead of a violent riot. Um, but I'm not the person organizing this riot. I'm not the one that's been invited to this. I will be, I, if I'm invited to a peaceful protest, I will go. But I'm not going to some duck it to you bucket violent riot where there's fucking fires going everywhere and people dying and shit. But I will go to a peaceful protest. But there's some kind of transmutation of energy. It sounds like about to occur in this soon, but this hasn't even happened yet. So, if I, obviously one of you guys that's organizing this freaking crazy nook into you bucket riot, I'm feeling, watches my channel or somebody connected to you. Please do a peaceful protest, you guys. The government or the media or anybody's not going to listen to you if you go in there like guns are blazing, literally. You have to do it in a healthy, copacetic manner, you guys. Healthy and copacetic, okay? Peaceful protest energy, not knock it to you, bucket riot energy, okay? A goal-oriented person. House repairs. Okay, I heard house repairs. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And a false marriage is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Very significant. Okay, I heard home repairs and a um, false marriage is about to become very significant in a Libra, Libra's life. So you could be the one that was put in a false marriage with false documentation. Hopefully that asshole goes to prison. Just saying, because they should. Or you know of somebody that was put into a false marriage with false documentation, and they have no fucking clue, and hopefully they go to prison. So you plug it in how it resonates there, leads. Only you know your story, not anybody else, whether you were put in a false marriage with false documentation or somebody else was. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I think the person that was put in a false marriage, a very goal-oriented person, obviously they don't even know they're in the marriage. And obviously they were put in it for money. And obviously they're very self-sufficient and independent. And they don't even know they're in the fucking marriage. They take care of their own self or they're already in another relationship, but they wasn't even in the marriage because they don't even know they're in the marriage. For some, it could be a younger woman that's in the fucking marriage. For some, it could be you. But the point is, that person needs to be in fucking prison. That's criminal and illegal if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying. Obviously, it was done because of money. And I, dear God, that's the craziest thing I think I've ever heard in my damn life. It just for real, for real is. Imagine if you, I mean, hell, for some, it could be you put in the false marriage. But if it ain't you put in the false marriage, imagine if it was. I don't think you'd appreciate that very much. You know? Good luck. Uh, lucky four leaf clover is about to become very significant in Libra's life soon. That's beautiful. I heard a lucky four leaf clover is about to become significant in Libra's life soon. So a lucky four leaf clover, I think it's going to give you good luck or you feel it's going to. So some kind of good luck energy with the lucky four leaf clover energy. A significant break-in in a home is about to become very significant and video camera evidence is not going to pick up on it. Know this. Okay. Heard a significant break-in into a home is about to become very significant and I heard video cam camera evidence is not going to pick up on it. So you plug that in however it resonates. It could be your home that's about to be broken into or somebody you're connected to, but whoever's home this is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to's home, I heard video camera whoever this is, they're not going to be able to have proper video camera evidence because video camera evidence isn't going to pick up on it. So whoever is about to break into this home, I think they've been um, stalking the home or stalking 
I think they live in the neighborhood or they've been stalking the area and been like surveillancing the area to figure out where the camera's off. And they're about to heist their self back uh, on up in there, but uh, behind the cameras. So exactly what I think. So they're about to have good luck as far as breaking in and not getting caught on camera. Uh, that's sad. It's really damn sad that you plug it in how it resonates. A very, 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 very large theft is coming here. A very large theft. Oh, shit. I heard a very, very, very large theft is coming here. A very large theft. So some kind of very large theft energy. But the camera or cameras is not going to pick up on it. It could be your home or somebody you care about or love's home or somebody you're connected to. Um, but whoever's home is about to get broken into, I think they are a goal-oriented person. And um, for some, it could be younger femme energy, or you could be the younger femme energy. Or this could be somebody you care about, possibly. But somebody's home about to get broken into, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to leaves. It's, it's sad, but video camera evidence ain't going to pick up on it. I'm just telling you that right now. Bees. A huge formation of a protest is about to occur soon. Very, 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 very large protest. Many positive connections are going to be formed here. Many. A very, 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 very large protest is about to uh, occur soon. Um, many positive connections are going to be formed here, um, and it's going to be formed soon. So like eight of wands with the five, 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 five energy, eight of wands, fast action, fast organization, fast activism, fast acclimation of everybody forming together, coupled with five, five, five change. It's about to come together quickly, but in this, I mean, we have angry riot energy in here and peaceful protest energy. It's like yin and yang. Um, like salt and pepper, oil and vinegar. Um, but they're both very large organizations, um, not organizations, very large gatherings of people soon and quickly. I will tell you that. Um, this angry protest for my, remember when that, um, that happened with George Floyd and then that angry riot occurred and the damn fires are going off all over and all up in the city and people were getting killed and harmed and all all kinds of crazy shit. That's what this reminds me of. I didn't hear that any of that was going to happen, but that's scary. Now, peaceful protest energy, like I was telling you guys earlier when I was picking that up. This is more my style. I wouldn't be in a, I wouldn't go to that. I would go to this because nothing is going to change. If you want gender equality and rights, liberties, and the pursuit of happiness, basic rights and freedoms, basically, to be um, seen and um, to be seen in a positive way and for people to take one seriously, this is what needs to occur, not this. I feel fire energy. I feel bomb energy. I feel people getting killed energy. That's scary. This is how change will occur. People have the right to protest in a very peaceful manner. Not destroy buildings and homes and police cut off oxygen supply to citizens and people get harmed and injured and arrested and blase, blase, blase. I feel this is the riot energy, but I heard this one's going to transmute. It's going to transmute quickly. So hopefully this doesn't turn into an ugly ass riot. Hopefully it turns into a peaceful protest soon too. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel this is the organizational, large organizational activities, whether it turns into an angry ass riot, because neither one of these has happened in the universe yet. Whether it turns into an angry riot or a peaceful protest. I believe in you guys. Turn into a peaceful protest. Just saying, just saying. Peaceful protest, you guys. I believe in y'all. Okay? Peaceful protest. And the bees energy in this aspect is gathering, communicating, gathering in a positive, healthy, copacetic manner. I mean, it could be gossip energy, but I'm not feeling that here. I'm feeling positive communication energy. Getting organized to figure out where everybody's going to 
gather and protest in a peaceful, organized manner to make positive change. That's what I feel here. But you plug it in, how it resonates. And the goal-oriented person and good luck energy would be a positive outcome of the peaceful protest with the nightingale energy. If anybody needs to see this, I'm serious, you guys. Change is not going to come if you don't, if you go out there and act a damn fool. You'll get arrested if you start knocking it till you bucking it. Um, I don't want anybody arrested. But I do believe in gender equality, absolutely. And I do believe in, uh, obviously, basic rights, liberties, and freedoms and pursuit of happiness to live basic human rights. Hell yeah. Um, and if somebody organizes this or starts getting it organized, I hope, I hope you organize it. Absolutely. If you want some help there, I have nothing better to do. I do this full time now because, you know, four wrongful terminations in my damn life and career. So, I mean, hell, I'll help you. I have nothing better to do. And that's just the damn truth. If anybody wants any help. Patience. A very angry Gemini is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. You need to have lots of patience with this person. For some, it'd be very smart just to keep them at bay and not communicate with them. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. I heard a very angry Gemini is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. I heard it would not be very um, smart to basically communicate it doesn't sound like very much with them uh, be smart to keep them at bay so energetic space and at bay um it sounds like they're impulsive and they're obviously angry and they're not going to have any patience but it sounds like it's up to you to transmute the energy and keep them at bay there please you can be masculine or femme libra they can be masculine or femme gemini whoever this person is to you but the spiritual download in that is to be very smart to keep them at bay Okay, whoever this person is and however they apply to you, I think you're going to have good luck if you keep them at bay. But, you know, you can choose to listen to the spiritual downloads or not. For some, it could be a younger femme energy, Gemini, younger than you. For some, it could be a masculine. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But it, Gemini energy strong. But it sounds like upcoming, they're about to come very angrily at you. So they're angry over something whatever that crap it is and however that resonates okay a very significant trip a family is about to take is about to shock the hell out of a libra a very significant trip a family is about to take is about to shock the hell out of a libra for some this libra will be very happy for this family for some they will not for some a libra will be very happy for this family for some they will not so only you know if you're going to be happy for this family about to take a sh shocking trip that I guess you didn't think the hell they were going to take. Um, for some, you're going to be happy for them. For some, you're not. So, but it's not your family. It's somebody else's family. For some, it could be a younger feminine energy, younger than you uh, family. For some of you guys. For some, it could be a younger masculine energy with them energy, younger than you. Um, only you know you're starting out anybody else. But for some, you're going to be happy for this family. For some, I feel it could be single parent vibes. For some, it could be blended family or two adults in the family with child or children. But it's not your family, I'll tell you that. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Huge things about to occur in the universe soon. Huge. In many Libra's lives. Huge things about to occur in the universe soon for many Libras and many Libras lives. So huge energetic shifts I'm feeling. I didn't hear that. It's just, just what I'm, my intuitive logic and reasoning. Huge energy, um, huge energetic happenings about to happen, basically. So big things about to happen. Like, you know, you could help be the wheel, wielder here and help turn the wheel to make them happen. Or 
not. Um, but whether you're helping turn the wheel to make them happen or not turning the wheel to make them happen, they're going to happen anyways. Um, whatever these huge things are, I didn't hear specifically what they are. All right. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And namaste.